Hey guys, so today we'll discuss about the client lips. So first of all, here we have a, here you see, here we have a traditional way of using a CSS and the JS. That means without client library, we can, uh, we can perform the CSS and the JS task. So why uh, Adobe has introduced the client library concept? Okay, so first we'll see what is client library and later we'll see how we can create it. So client library, if you want to manage the CSS and the JS, so CSS basically for creating one website. Now consider, now I just want to create one website. So what are the things we need? We need a HTML. Okay, HTML is just for the design purpose. Okay, no, so it's just like a templates. Okay, after that structure you have created, now you just want to perform some mm, style. So for that we'll use a CSS. It's just simple for a style. Okay, after that, inside that you have created the structure and you have performed the uh, style as well okay now you want as a front end okay now in a front end you want to perform a logic okay two plus two uh, four like that types if you want to perform some logic then we'll use a javascript like consider <coughs> now two checkbox you have checkbox one and this checkbox two okay like that is a checkbox no so when you are clicking <coughs> on the second checkbox, you want some container. That means some uh, container you want. Okay, so maybe here we have a container. This is the container you have. And uh, if I'm just clicking on the first one, okay, if I'm just clicking on the first one, I want some another uh, another container. So how we can perform this logic by using a JS? Okay, so when I'm just clicking on the first checkbox, I'm just getting a first one. When I'm just clicking on the second. On the same position, I'm getting the second one. So this is nothing but the JS logic only. Okay. So we'll use these things. And after that, we are talking about the AM now. Okay. If you want these types of functionality, then we'll use the HTML for creating one website. We'll use HTML, CSS, and JS. So HTML, we know that where we can write the HTML inside our components. When we'll create a component, that time one uh, HT JSP file is created. Okay, now one script will create, will rename to this HTML and will write our HTML logic there. After that, if you want this CSS and the JS, so for that, we'll simply use the client lips. Got it? What we use? <coughs> client lips. Okay, so client lips manage your CSS and JS. Another thing, the resources as well. Okay, it will manage the res resources as well. What does it mean by the resources? We know that. If you have some logo, okay, or PNG file or something you have, then you can just simply add inside, create one folder, and inside this folder you can add the images or logos. And after that, if you want to use this one, you can just simply use inside this CSS, <coughs> JS, otherwise in your HTML. Okay, got it? This is the thing we have, and another thing, uh, assets also we have assets. That means the files and everything. This thing also we can add inside our resources. Okay, so why they have introduced these concepts? Okay, so we have to see first of all <coughs> dependency management is there. Dependency management. Now I'll show you. Here you come, and after that, here you see. So when we will use the HTML inside the HTML, if I want to add a CSS and the JS, for adding a CSS, we'll use this link tab. This is the tag we use. That is link tag. Okay. So here inside this h reference hypertext reference inside that uh, whatever the css you have created you just have to add this path okay the first thing and the second thing you just have to add the jss this for that what we use the script tag okay but it has a drawback inside this traditional way inside our traditional way we have a drawback so that's why uh, adobe has introduced the concepts of client lib so what are the drawback it has <coughs> number of requests First thing, number of requests to serve uh, server will increase. See, simply number of requests that means consider this is my HTML. Okay, here I have that is index.html. Okay, index.html I have, and inside this index.html, now I have like consider uh, this is my main page, this is my main website page. So when first time you will send the request, like consider this is my first page, www, okay, search.com. So this is my website 
and when i have make this website i have made it this website that time all this logic i have written inside this index.html but we knows that when we open any website that time we have a more than one pages okay so we have to link these pages and after that uh, for this for every pages we have the css and the js so maybe consider we have a hundred thousand css and thousand jss files we have okay so when we are sending the request for this index.html internally this request is sending for this each and individual css file and each and individual jss file okay so what is total that is 2000 requests we are sending okay so this is a drawback this is not a good thing we can do it the same thing within a one request only all these things if you want to load you can do it by using a one request by using a client lips got it so why we need to send this 2000 that is called as a first one number of requests to server will increase okay so there is no need to send the number of requests first one is done second one is a dependency management need to take ma take care manually now i'll tell you uh, consider now here i have a class a just simple class a have and this is the class b okay and first of all inside this class a we have some code that is uh, considered like one method we have function the simple i have created function that is hello and uh, here we have some message print one hello we have hello word just for the example okay now we are talking about the js but here i have written the java example it's just for the example okay so now this is the function i have inside the class a and this function i'm using inside this class b so i have created the class just simply consider i have created the object of this class the class a and after that i have called this hello okay so now i'm just loading this class first okay this is the class i'm just loading inside the uh, inside our am first of all i'm just simply loading this class b okay and when it will execute it will see here we have one object and the hello word okay but this class it it's not present inside our am so what it will happen it throws the error it throws no it throws the error is it so what we need first of all we have to load this one first of all we have to load this first class and second we have to load this second okay so we have to see this class this class b it's dependent on the class a that is called as a dependency management so we have to take care of this one manually okay and how many classes we have uses we don't know so everything we have to take care of manually now this is the back end code now the same thing i'm showing by using a front end okay so front here we have one library that is jquery okay so it is just simple so your js is a little bit complicated for making it easy we are using a jquery library okay so now we have the jquery library and this is the jquery we have uses inside our index.html sorry we have another js another js like this is the custom.js i have inside this custom.js here i have uses this java jquery library inside this custom.js so how we can write the code just consider uh, we'll write the code like this okay no like this we'll write the code and here i have one class consider a uh, class a i have this is the class a i have and inside that i am just i just want to add the some text i am just adding some text inside that done now so this is nothing but the js don't see don't confuse in that things okay so this is the j, j, j jquery code okay i just simply use it so this jquery code this is the jquery i am just using from this jquery okay but where i have uses inside this custom.js that means we can say no so our this custom.js it's dependent on this jquery so it should be load before our custom.js okay this jquery should be load must be load inside our uh, before our custom.js like this like that wise we upload will load see so this consider this is the 
jquery.js okay and after that we have to add our custom.js here if you added the custom.js first of all and after that jquery then it throws the error got it so this is called as a dependency management so here we don't need to be take care of these things manually uh, we can easily solve this one by using a client lift okay and the minification uh, needs to take care manually minification that means like here when you have created this when you have created the js so some of the spaces is there okay so this spaces also take the this is the space no blank space is there so it will take the place that means some small memory it will take this is not a good thing so like now the total size of this one is a 10 mb and this is the big thing okay this is two big things for our html and for our uh, whenever we are making the website keep this mind things uh, this is not a good this 10 mb is not a good thing okay so for one file this is the 10 mb and why this size has increases because of this blank spaces okay uh, we should have to remove this one how we can remove so for that here we have to minify it we have to minify this one okay but here in the js we have to take care manually that one like that if it is a space we have to remove it okay this is not a good thing okay so they have uh, they have this concepts as well or we have this concept so wherever it will seize the space so it will remove and your code is in two line now so it will make in one line got it this is the js okay and the another last thing that is versioning okay let it be versioning versioning that means like consider now you have updated something you have a class a okay and class a you have updated now okay and now you have a class b that means class a is a 1.0 and uh, class b is a sorry class a only so this is a class a it has some drawbacks or something that we have updated and we have created this version but this version also we have to create manually but your client lives when you created this class a and you are updated this class a so it will automatically create a version for you there is no need to create manually got it now how we can create this is the thing that's why we are using a client lib so what are the advantage and uh, what does it mean by the client lib so simple if you want to manage the css and the js for that we are using a client lib second thing we know <coughs> that for creating the components we have a one type that is cq component okay for creating a random component we use this ntn structure is it no yeah for creating a folder we have a folder type is it for creating a cq page what we have we have a cq column page for creating a jcr column content we have a cq page content got it the same thing for creating a client lips we have one node that means a node type that is cq client library folder okay and this one is a main js.txt and css.txt are the mandatory files to manage the js and the css now i'll tell you see here your who will execute in your uh, crsd who will execute the code sling exactly so your sling will execute all the codes okay so your sling will not go directly inside your jss files jss otherwise in your css file whatever information you will provide to your sling only this information it will execute okay so now where we can pass this information simply here we have a js.txt and here we have a css.txt if you want to execute now we have a thousand css file and thousand jss file okay but from that i just want to execute only two two files okay that 988 i don't want it i just simply want these two files so if you want to execute two files you can just simply come inside this and just mention this two file so only this two file will execute by this link okay if the same thing if you want css you can just simply go inside that and just mention two files so first of all this is the entry point for your client lib this is the entry point first of all it will come inside this css it will execute after that it will execute your js.txt okay so whatever the file you have mentioned it only this file will execute okay and so this one is our 
just simple client lips now you want to provide some extra information i i have already told you like versioning now you want versioning ma uh, automatically you want a uh, minifications okay uh, automatically so how we can <coughs> do that thing so they have already created one configuration keep in mind this is the configuration we'll discuss later but this is nothing but the configuration they already have sele they already have created we just simply have to go inside that and just simply if you want the versioning there we have one checkbox you just simply have to click if you want the minification there we have one checkbox you just simply have to click then you will get the minifications and the versioning got it is there any difficulty till it okay now we'll di directly go and just try to create it so i just came here and here this is our project they have already created the client lips now i'll show you when i have just this is just simple a folder okay no empty folder but when i'm just clicking on this client lib okay what is the type that means this is not <coughs> your normal folder this one is your client lips okay now i'm just creating my own client lib so here because they already have organized all of these things so if you want to create a client lib just come here and just create it and what this is not a folder okay no so what we have to create node okay just simply come here and i'm just giving like demo client lips okay this is the thing and now we have to change the type cq client library folder i have changed it now just simple okay okay no done just simply come here copy this one i just simply copy come here and uh, local host 4502 just paste it and hit enter you will get nothing okay because control always whenever you are sending a request what you need content okay and this data should be present then you <coughs> will get it but in our case we are executing css and the js so here you just simply have to type js hit enter it's not present jss is not present okay why because of here we know that where you are uh, so when your sling will come so where it will enter first for if you want to execute here here i have typed the js extension okay js extension i have typed just remove this one just type css as well and hit enter i'm not getting anything why because of this is the client library we knows that this is the client library we knows that your sling will come inside this and it will search only two yes. that is js yes. and yes. ts uh, txt yes. file it will search okay right click <coughs> create and here we have to create the files first of all like css dot txt save it js dot txt save it now just come here css hit enter now we are getting nothing because now it has working fine that means our client um, that means our sling it has came inside our client lives inside the client lib it has came to our css okay css but it has find okay inside the css is trying to find something but inside our css we don't have anything so that's why it hasn't printed anything okay so now i'm just simply writing the j uh, okay one file i'm just creating simply one file i'm creating that is sample.js done i have created the sample.js now i'm just writing something okay so variable like that way we'll create a variable in our js if you hear another option that is let okay. and third constant okay so which one you want i'm just creating by using a constant only okay so number one and here i'm just passing simply 12 variable number two here i'm just passing 29 okay and just simply i'm just saying console dot log and just simply inside that okay so i'll do like that num1 num1 plus num2 this is the logic i have written it now okay again i'm just going there and i'm just trying to hit enter js this time it will execute yeah. Yeah. we'll get uh, num1 and num2 okay i have just done did we get no no what we have to do that is 
sample dot js we have to add inside our js dot txt so whatever you will whatever you will return here files only this file it will execute so sample dot js i have written save it come here and just refresh now we will get got it okay so this is the thing number of requests it has decreasing so only this request it will send and when it will send the this request all of your file whatever the file it has present and you required okay so all this file already it will load so only now how many file it has loaded only one let me create another one okay so okay this time i'm just doing very good okay it will come no no what we have to do okay now here what i'm doing demo dot demo dot js just simply save the changes come here and just try to refresh it now you are getting the second one as well okay but now consider now i have a thousand files okay so this is not a good way no directly i am just creating inside this client lips okay all these files see here js is dot uh, txt i have created sample sorry sample dot js and the demo dot js i have created okay and after that uh, thousand we have js and thousand we have css so if i create here it's a uh, it's very difficult to find out the files okay so we'll just organize this file so here inside that for the js we'll simply create a js folder simply and now for the cs i'll just simply create a css folder done okay so this is the js i'm just adding inside this js and here we have a sample dot js so i'm just adding these two things okay what i have done here is inside the i have created one folder where we have to create a folder inside our client lib so i have created uh, folders and all this file i have added inside this js again i'm refreshing now tell me it will execute no, no. why okay so you think you guys think like uh, this result we want i will not get this result you guys thinking like that i'll get or not quickly please no refresh it i'll not get it send the request first of all copy this one come here local for for project and just simply paste it and here i need a js i'm just getting it but done i am not getting it see <coughs> i just simply hard reload it okay that means it was a cache issue so i just remove it okay so this time i am not getting the js you are getting no copy this one come here and just simply paste it and hit enter now i am not getting it why because this is the file there is a two files demo.js and the sample.js it has present inside your js folder so we have to mention the path of this one no yeah. right. come here and just simply mention the so save it come here and just try to refresh it now you will get only the one simply writing a js slash 
and the same thing come here and now you will get this two but is it in, uh, is it uh, crucial to write every time the js yes. yeah yes why because of inside Perfect. your js all these file is there but now consider here i have a thousand files okay for every for every thousand file i have to write the js this is not a good thing no so because we already know that all these files it has present inside the js okay so we'll make it this one com uh, common no instead yeah. of we'll remove this js okay and we'll say like that hash base is equals to yeah. js that means inside this uh, i have made this one common okay so here uh, this is the js this is nothing but the folder and inside this js i have all these files and keep in one thing in mind okay it follows the precedence okay so it follows the priority so it will see this sample.js so first time it will execute this sample.js it will second time it will see this demo.js so it will execute this demo.js okay so the same thing come here and just try to refresh it okay we got the same thing okay done now just simply come here we have created everything okay now i'm just simply adding this file to my page okay so this is the file i have created no i'm just simply adding this file to my page so how we can add go inside the page where you want So I'm just going to add, see, this is the JS I have created. Okay, this JS I have created. So I just need this JS. How we can get it? So for that we have to pass, no? How we can pass? So uh, you just simply have to go inside your page first of all. If you want to load your file, so this is the file. You want to load this file, this JSS file, that means this client lives. So you just have to go inside your page, wherever you want, come here. Here we have options of the editable templates. Okay, but how we can add? Yeah, page policy inside the page policy. Once it will open, will go. That is okay. But how we can add? We have to write this name. It's not a possible. Okay, no maybe some another file also have the same name okay some another project i have on a, and that project also have the same name okay so how we can add we have to give one name to this particular client lips so this is my client lips i have to give one particular name so how i can give just simply come here and here we have one property that is yeah. categories name is right yeah. okay so one property is there that is category and we have to make this one as a multi that means you can add more than one name it's up to you so i'm just giving one name that is demo client lips just simply add done come here and just save it see we got this categories now that means this is the name of your category so wherever you want to call you just simply have to use this name you can just simply copy this then you don't want this just simply clear it that is nice now you can go here uh, here we have a in page information page policy once you will go here on the right hand side you will see the client lips okay so you can just simply come here and simply add your own client lips and just save it then now go inside your en page as well and just simply refresh it indirectly it will add like that only see we know that all our pages how it will create by using a html only there is no other option except html we cannot create okay now we have to at the end we have to use the html only okay so i'm just simply coming here here we have a view as a publish and just simply oh it has throwing error somewhere
that is okay it's not a matter about this it has throwing an error inspect it sorry don't inspect right click and open view page source that means i'm just going to open the html code okay i have opened this html code okay so now here you see now i'm just simply control f what is the name of our client lips demo, demo client lips see <coughs> it has added the css okay and by default it has added this min so it's provide the minification as well by default okay later that uh, again just hit enter this is the uh, this one is for the demo client uh, client lips it just simply for the css so somewhere we have a somewhere we have for the jss as well okay so somewhere we have for the jss as well right now it's not loading just go back we don't need to add here okay now just for the just for the sample i'm just adding okay see we got this one here as well min dot js so they have already written this min so they have added okay so when you will update something so again you will see the different one why because this is the versioning okay and another thing here you see here we have where is this client lips where we have created this client lips inside the apps no inside the apps we have created this client lips but when user will send the request so he is directly going inside this apps this is not a good thing for us we have already discussed this one is not a good why because inside the apps we have projects and everything components and everything we have inside this apps only okay and when user got the access of this apps he will do anything okay so this is not a good and your one dispatcher is there okay they, it's provide the security your dispatcher provide the security so whenever uh, he sees the request whenever dispatcher seeing the request that is it has coming by using this app so it will block it will not accept that request it will simply block okay so here uh, right now we don't have any dispatcher so that's why this request is processing okay but if we have a dispatcher that time it won't execute so how we can prevent this one so just simply come here and here we have options of the allow proxy okay this is the allow proxy one at uh, one property we have and mm. this one accept the data type as a boolean okay and true we have to write and select this one add simply just save it come here <coughs> and just try here uh, this is in the apps now this path is loading on a apps here it has loading in a apps just try to refresh it okay so now it has changed to etc okay and it is just simple for the we know that this if you want to download third party application so where it will store etc only okay so there is not a big deal here okay so it has serving as a etc now done this one now consider we have already discussed about the dependency management we have discussed no dependency manage we have discussed so how we can achieve this dependency here again i'm just creating another client list this is the client life we we have here i'm just creating a another one that is a jquery jquery client lips jquery client lips i have created done first step we have to give the name of our category okay sorry name of our client lips so how we can provide the name by using the category property this will accept as a string so you just simply have to click on the string and here you have to provide the name so this is the jquery client lips so i just simply add it here jquery client lips save it another thing what we need allow proxy i don't want to serve as a 
uh, apps so that's why i'm just changing it and what is the data type yeah. boolean you have to select the boolean and after that true and just simply add it okay here inside this i'm just creating a jss i don't want now create i don't want css so i'm just simply creating js.txt make sure that for executing the js you just have to write the js.txt okay otherwise if you are writing something else and after that you are just simply saying like this js will execute so no you are wrong okay so this js we have created after that i'm just simply going inside the jquery jquery cdn and just simply hit so it will provide the path somewhere we have a path just go inside that minified we need minified that means only in the single line will got this data so i don't want the minified one okay so from here i'm just simply taking this only i'm just copying the link this one is a library okay now so all this predefined data it has present here okay this is the data i'm just simply control a just type in control a come here create one name what is the name and let it be we'll create something else okay so jquery dot js i have created save it inside that i'm just simply pasting our data i have pasted okay so now uh, this is the client library uh, this one is our jquery client libs okay so whenever you are downloading something a uh, library you have to download like that okay if you are downloading the bootstrap client bootstrap okay bootstrap css and the js if you want to use the bootstrap here so you have to download like that way only okay so right now i'm just using a jquery just for the example so uh, consider i'm just returning some data here right now we don't have any classes and the ids so dollar curly versus open and the close consider this is the class i have that is class just simple class i have and inside this class i just want to add the text okay so is the text it's just simple a text this is the thing now this dollar i have uses this parenthesis i have uses and this is the text method i have uses so from where it has coming all these things it has coming from your jquery client libs okay but for that for that what we have to do for that this must be execute before <coughs> our demo client libs client libs okay because this is the uh, jquery code i have uses inside this demo client lib so this one must be execute before our demo client libs so how we can achieve this one so for that simply we have one property that is dependencies okay you can just simply come here uh, where we have to add this one okay this one you want to load no first so you can just simply come here and just here we have to type dependencies dependencies is it okay dependencies is there any mistake with name okay dependencies i have uses which client library you want to load first how we can recognize with the name you have to go simply here we have to go what is the name this one you have to simply copy category we have defined no come here and here simply you just simply have to paste it add this one and just simply save come here see first of all you are saying somewhere this is a demo client libs okay no and here above that what we have we have some different client libs just try to replace it got it so this is our demo client libs now and uh, before of this demo client libs we have a jquery client libs min.js that means it is executing successful now okay it is executing correct because this is the client libs and this client library client libs dependent on this jquery client lib so that's why i have written like that this is done now consider this is client library i have this one is my client libs okay 
and this is the client lips i just want to otherwise this is the jquery as in future what we are doing right now your demo client lib is dependent on the jquery okay in future this is the demo client lips you are delivering this content to a third party to someone you are delivering okay so that time you are only delivering this demo what's about the jquery then this one also we have to transfer then this code will execute fine this demo client lips is it no so maybe and the client requirement is i simply want this demo client lib i don't want this jquery okay but we know that this is the demo client lib this it has dependent on this jquery only so how we can achieve this one so for that we have another property that is embed okay and inside this embed you can just simply do one thing this is the client library entire client library you can add inside this Demo that means whatever the code it has present inside your jquery this code will add inside this demo client lib when you will use the embed come here and uh, where i have to add this is the embed see dependency and embed both are the same so i just simply relating and here you can just simply add the embed this one is also multi you can just simply come here and which one you want to add so i'll just simply want to add this jquery so just come here and here we have <coughs> options of this jquery client lips copy this one go there where it is here and just simply paste it you can add you can embed more than one okay so that's why uh, continuously i'm using this multi you can define more than one categories okay you can add more than one dependencies because maybe your current client library is dependent on more than one client library so that's why i'm just writing here multiple and i'm just defining as a multi okay so save it now it is done now you can just simply go inside this inside inside this only we have added no this is the dependency embed we have added inside this that means you are the jquery client library it has added inside this demo client lips now just simply copy come here type here local 4502 and just simply paste and what i want js hit enter js nice our client library is not added name is okay check with the name first of all embed this one is done only we are getting this demo client lips okay so it is a mini fight see that's why it is showing in a one line only in a single line what's happened with the embed now embed i have written string string is a multi jquery client lips i have copied this client list from there thing is done now refresh it otherwise you can just simply come here again you can copy this one come here at the last paste it and just write here js hard reload once some problem we have that's why it's not loading everything is good no did we use as dependency somewhere categories okay okay yeah. so first of all this is the jquery.js we haven't added writing inside this oh so jquery.js we have to add no jquery.js save it come here and try to refresh it now 
that's nice okay so what it, what it has done before so when i uh, here okay no see now so first of all it has came here your sling it's try to execute this client lips it has came to your js okay first of all in css after that it is in js so directly it's went to this css.txt it search what is the client library we have and if any client library it has so it has merged to this demo client lips okay after that here we have a js.txt it went inside this and it check all this uh, all these files and whatever file it has it has copied from here and after that it has pasted to our output okay it gives the output like that okay no but the thing is we have uses one dependency uh, sorry one properties we have uses that is embed so it checks this property and uh, that is jquery so it it has find where is this jquery let's try to find out this is the jquery and after that yeah this is the jquery after that it just went simply inside this jquery.js okay sorry not in jquery.js it's went to this js.txt and after that whatever the file it has so it just simply copy and pasting inside your demo client lips but right now that time we hadn't okay we hadn't know anything so but now we have added and you can just simply come here and now you can refresh it so when you will refresh now you will see this js and after at the last first of all it will load this one okay no and later that at the last our code will be there 